Next, we honor Jeff Myers, a fellow from the College of Arts and Sciences. Jeff received a bachelor's degree in political science and communication studies from Washburn in 1987. He also has a master's degree in speech from Baylor and a doctorate in human communication studies from the University of Denver. Jeff has worked with a number of organizations and universities lecturing on leadership and communication and producing training materials. As a student, Jeff was mem a member of Sagamore, Alpha Delta Fraternity, and the debate team. He was elected president of the Washburn Student Association his senior year. He said of his time here, I have had the privilege of influencing several million emerging leaders, and not a day has passed that I have not drawn on the content and academic skills and the leadership experiences I gained at Washburn. In 2011, Jeff started his own company, The Summit, in Manitou Springs, Colorado, to prepare students for college. The organization trains 50,000 students a year through a 12-day intensive program offered in three states and curriculum offered to schools and churches throughout the United States. Jeff's friend and fraternity brother, John Burns, uses Jeff's teachings to direct Washburn's athletic training program. He said this about his friend. You have turned the science of communication into art. You are an expert public speaker who can bring your illustrations to life for the listener and inspire. I am truly honored to call you my brother and friend. Jeff has authored 11 books and delivered more than 1,500 keynote speeches and leadership seminars during the last 25 years in the United States and 12 foreign countries. He has launched or helped launch three leadership training businesses. Jeff spoke to Washburn's Alpha Delta chapter in 2010. Ryan Kovich um, is an analyst in Washburn's strategic analysis and reporting department remembered this about Jeff's speech. It's very apparent that he's not scared to talk about his faith, and that's pivotal, especially in today's society. I read Jeff's book, Passing the Baton, and it even more securely set in the great thoughts I'd acquired about Jeff over the brief time meeting with him. We are pleased to honor Jeff Myers as a Washburn alumni fellow. Jeff. Well, thank you so much, Susie. Uh, Susie was my next door neighbor. She was a DG when I was an alpha adult. So it's fun to, uh, uh, to, be, to be back here and to see the amazing things you and your team have done with the Alumni Association. And thank you, John Burns, for uh, nominating me for this. And thank you, President Farley, for establishing a nationwide trend of bow ties, which I have now adopted. <laughs> it's, uh, it's everywhere. It is the thing in all the great cities of the world. I just want you to know. Uh, I came to Washburn University as a Garvey scholar, I was I was as surprised as anyone else when I received the scholarship. I never thought of myself as being very smart, and so I thought it was an accident, and I decided to accept before they could revoke the offer, and that's how I ended up at, at Washburn University. But I immediately became a recruiter for Washburn. I talked to my two best friends from Great Bend, Kansas, into coming to school with me, and it is it has been remarkable ever since. Uh, I'm really grateful to the communication department for the honor of being an alumni fellow. I started in political science because I wanted to go to law school. And I, I continued that until I started taking classes in law and realized I don't want to go to law school. Uh, in fact, I, had, I told a communication class this morning, I had a conversation with a couple of my fraternity brothers who were very disappointed that I wasn't going to go to law school. They, they said, well, what are, you, what are your plans? I said, I don't know. I just don't want to go to law school. I'd rather be a homeless person than going to law school. And, and then one of them said, well, what are, you, what are you going to major in? I said, communications. And without missing a beat, he said, that's a great major for an aspiring homeless person. <laughs> and so it was, it was that moment of determination that I, I will do whatever it takes to be to try to be successful in this field. And, I'm grateful to my family and to God for the opportunity to start so many different companies that relate to leadership and communication. And I think the thing I'm, I'm most proud of is how many people have gone through some of these courses and overcome their fear, for example, of public speaking, or gained a new ability to relate with dignity to people who are different than themselves. 
So those have been a lot of fun. I wanted to really tell you one, one story, though, is in, in closing. As a Washburn student, I had the privilege of my, my debate partner, Michael Moore, and I had the privilege of qualifying for the national debate tournament, which took place in the East Coast in a uh, Ivy League university. So we went to the, this Ivy League university, and we were so amazed at how passionate the students were about a particular political issue taking place at the time, giving speeches from the steps of their one of their buildings, and all the students would gather around and either applaud or boo or whatever, depending on the, the situation. And I remember thinking at that time, man, I wish, I wish we could have that at Washburn. On the way back, though, I realized something that has formed probably more of what I hope to do in the lives of young adults I have the opportunity to train than anything else. And it's this, that passion doesn't equal commitment. Liking something on Facebook doesn't mean you're doing something about it. And I, I watched those students who were passionate for the moment and felt that having given a speech about something was equivalent to having done something about it. I came back to Washburn where I had professors who were focused on doing real things, being with the students, recognizing that sometimes the most important things that need to be done take place in personal conversations that no media outlet will ever report. And, and that was formative to me. In fact, it's become formative in what we were doing at the summit in training young leaders. We tell them that you're always on a search for truth but you're always doing that in the context of a relationship. And it's the DNA of influence is a double helix. Those two things always go together. And every day, no matter what your job, you're putting rungs in the ladder between truth and relationship. And that has become a formative principle for all of us at Summit. It's something that started at Washburn. And after having been in classes visiting for the last two days, I can see that that DNA is still here just as much as it's ever been. So I'm very proud of Washburn University and appreciative of the honor. Thank you very much.